So he's gone. The founding father of modern day Singapore, Mr. Lee Kuan Yew. His name is synonymous with Singapore as Napoleon with France. Yet, it almost felt wrong for me to want him to live on. Because just as my belief in death, I do not fear death, I fear suffering. And if he was suffering, would it, it feels wrong to want him to live just because I want him to live? Yet, it is, I do not mourn. That is not to say you cannot feel sad, but I always felt it illogical to fear, to fear or to feel immensely sad or something that you knew is coming. Such as if you fear the next day that the sun would rise and it would burn the earth, unless you're doing something against it, there's no reason to fear it, but that does not mean you can't feel sad, just the emotional preparation should have already been there. And that's another reason why I don't go to funerals, I personally don't like to go to funerals and everything, because what's the point? The person's gone, and if you sincerely are sad, you're sincerely sad, if you're not, you're, you're just not. No amount of turning up with a place is going to make a difference. So my goodbye in a way was very simple as with anybody that I respect and like. Um, more than once today, I raise a glass, be it any liquid or even no liquid, or just like that. Have I raised a glass to Lao Li, to Mr. Li, because he deserved it. It almost feels like we um, shortchanged him. You know, imagine if he had a uh, India, um, Cuba, or one of or de all these colonial states that went free. Imagine he had a place like with resources, and imagine what he could have done. Yet he was born here, and I thank him for that, or whoever put him here. To those who say nay, um, I just want to say that it could have been a lot worse. Look at Mugabe from Zimbabwe and all. He could easily have been corrupt. Even if you say that now he's corrupt. Alright. At least his corrupt led to success of the state. You know, yes, he has his family members tied to every major company in the country and all, but that's another reason why I can live the way I live. Poor, but still, I can, I'm still have, I can still survive easily and with comfort. Because all my shares are linked to this country too, Singapore Exchange, Singtel. And if this state was to ever fall, I would become destitute. But I trust in him and his beliefs, and that is why my money is where my mouth is. When I was a boy, before I left for university to leave here, I hated my country. I hated him. But only when you leave do you see things for the first time and you see how other places really are to end I am going to put I'm going to just abbreviate um, Oliver Stone's Ptolemy speech from the movie Alexander to Mr. Lee because it captures what I feel so here we go Tyrant did you up so easily I laugh it takes strong men to rule. Before him, there was a poor city state. After him, all was possible. It was a state, regardless of race or creed, open, tall. But the truth is never that simple. Yet it is. Truth is, he did do things that many would find immoral. But we consented. What by Aries did we have to look forward to? Poverty, subjugation to another state. But could it have just been another person willing to listen to him? Possible. As a child, I never believed in this great vision. Many didn't. 
He could have stayed in England, raised a family, lived his life as a celebrated lawyer, and died celebrated. But this was not Lee Kuan Yew. His tragedy was one of increasing loneliness and impatience with those who could not understand. And if his desire for a successful state ended in failure, what failure? His failure towers over other men's successes. I have lived a decently happy life, my friends. And the glory and the memory of man will always belong to those who follow their great visions. And one of these is the one I now call Megus Li, the greatest Li of them all. Thank you very much. Till next week.